the idea is to not use the dumb battery box but use a Bluebeast 30 Pro and I'm gonna modify the whole model so it actually uses this small motor for the gearbox so the gearbox will be motorized and I already have a gearbox here in Lego Digital Designer and of course I also have the real the whole thing modified uh, in Lego Digital Designer so this is the progress after the first bag and for those uh, with keen eyes there are already some differences visible first thing is this handle is mirrored because the actuator is now going to be on the left side not on the right and of course the original battery box was replaced with the Puvis uh, I'm currently just using an empty case so I don't have to worry about scratching it or anything like that and uh, I already also put this mechanism on top of this lever which keeps it from falling out when the wheel uh, retraction mechanism is activated so yes so far so good and let's continue okay the second bag is done uh, there were no modification at this phase I hope I don't have to change anything but I think it should be okay uh, basically we built the entire cabin and the next step will be the gearbox and this is the big one and for the gearbox I will be mostly referring to the Lego Digital Designer uh, it's gonna be the most complicated part of the build so wish me luck and see you soon uh, so I started working on the gearbox the idea is that it has four positions in one position the main rotor is spinning slowly in the other the rotor is spinning quickly and then you have two more positions where the rotor is spinning slowly but it's also doing other functions like uh, the winch and the wheels going up and down now because the motor will be switching directions while using other functions such as winch and the before mentioned wheels so wheels going up and down I uh, did integrate a one-way clutch here so in this direction you can see that this gear which will be spinning the rotor is spinning clockwise and if I reverse it again it's spinning clockwise so this mechanism is gonna make sure that the rotor is always spinning in uh, one direction no matter if you switch the motor okay the gearbox is assembled far enough for me to test it and let's see if it works so currently it's in the first position which means that the rotor should be spinning and that's the only function working yes and if I reverse the motor the rotor keeps spinning in one direction okay now let's switch to the second function now the rotor is still spinning but now we also have actuator spinning that's for the landing gear and if I reverse the motor the landing gear uh, reverses but the rotor still keeps spinning great now third function in the third position the rotor is spinning much faster but no other function is working and lastly uh, in the fourth position we should be spinning this gear which is gonna be the winch seems to work so the gearbox is now completed and the bodywork has been added all around and now it should fit on the body and uh, compared to the last time I was showing the body uh, it has been changed a bit so that this uh, left arm was moved all the way here to the left for the lowering of the wheels and the boobies is now completely centered in the middle so let's see if it fits it fits the first position you can see the selector here only the rotor is spinning at slow speed at the second position we are controlling the landing gear so if I reverse it it goes down and back up again now in the third position the rotor is quickly spinning and no other function is working and even if you reverse it it's 
spinning in the same direction. And in the final and fourth position, we have the winch spinning one direction and in the other direction. And now with the gearbox module properly installed and working okay, I'm just gonna be resuming the instructions until I basically finish the set.